Good afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2010 HSV Club Sport R8 this afternoon. Four-door sedan, finished in brilliant silver. You can see the metallic running through it. We've got our bonnet scoops on the front being an R8. Daytime running lights, driving lights directly below that. Obviously the full body kit on this car being a HSV Club Sport. And uh, the way it presents, 2010 mind you, uh, so bearing in mind we've just hit 2017, this car will approach seven years old at some stage this year and look at the quality of it. Uh, obviously the distinctive black HSV alloy wheels, uh, unscathed, not a mark on it. Once again distinctive red uh, Brembo brake calipers, HSV uh, badging in our front guard with the venting and the indicator in our uh, guard also color-coded exterior mirrors and door handles and look at the presentation of the car as we come down the driver's side the club sport badging on our uh, right hand rear door and uh, once again not a scratch to be found on this car same with the right hand rear alloy wheel presents as new the tires are basically as new probably 80 to 85 percent tread and as we move around to the rear of the car, once again, really consistent in the finish. Not even a scratch on the rear bumper. Uh, we've got our factory uh, spoiler on our boot lid, all of our uh, distinctive chrome badging, 317 kilowatts. We'll touch on that shortly. Uh, we've got uh, color-coded reverse parking sensors with reverse camera as well. Obviously, dual-tipped exhaust system. And uh, you can just hear the really quiet rumble of the car. Um, obviously we have it running so that we're nice and cool when we hop inside it shortly. And as we move down the passenger side of the car, once again, the consistency is outstanding in the way this car presents. But I want to be really particular. There is the smallest scratch you'll find on that left-hand rear alloy wheel. But the paintwork presentation is just immaculate. For a 2000... Would you think it's a 2010? Probably not. And then once again, our left-hand front alloy wheel, not a scratch on it as well. So the overall exterior condition of this car is outstanding. Just before we move under the bonnet and just uh, have a chat about the performance of the car, uh, one minor little touch-up there that I did miss earlier. So just a really small scratch that's been touched up. I'm being fairly pedantic, but when you get here to buy this car, you know that that's actually there. So being a, a HSV Club Sport powered by the 6.2 litre LS3 motor gives us 317 kilowatts of power, 550 newton metres of torque, still delivering fairly good fuel economy, 13.7 litres combined per 100 k's. So performance, but you've still got fairly good economy as well. Build number 260, obviously out of a limited edition run being a HSV. So around at the rear of the clubby now, we'll just have a little bit of a look at the storage area and everything. As you can see, really spacious luggage compartment. So plenty of room to store whatever we need to. If you go to the shops and you've just got a few little goodies that you've bought at the supermarket, pop them in the little netted section there so they won't slide around in the boot. Tuck that out of our way and then underneath our cover, as you can see, full-size alloy spare wheel. So a couple of scuffs on that spare wheel unfortunately so at some stage it has been on the car and that's why they probably popped it back in there because the uh, the missus might have scraped a gutter so here we are inside the uh, 2010 hsv club sport now we'll just run through all of the features of the car and as i always say with our videos part of the reason we do them is to just show you how well our cars present so starting at uh, the steering wheel uh, which is height and reach adjustable. We can set ourselves up where we're nice and comfortable. Simple matter of locking it into position and we're good to go. Auto headlights in this car will detect darkness or if you go into the Burnley Tunnel, turn our headlights on automatically. Uh, on our indicator stalk, we've got our factory cruise control settings. Uh, on our leather wrapped steering wheel, our audio volume control, that also acts as our Bluetooth button to hang up. Um, and accept phone calls. Does have navigation this car and threw me a little bit being a 2010 uh, for the fact that it's got the enhanced driver interface which we'll chat about shortly. On our left hand side of our steering wheel trip computer our button for our audio which basically changes between stations or CD. 
um, and then we can change between tracks and station if required. Only done 90,000 kilometres, so great case for its age, this particular car. Moving into the centre section now, we've got three gauges at the top here, basically uh, just to uh, measure our battery charge rate, our oil temperature and our oil pressure as well. As I mentioned, the surprise for me was that it does have the enhanced driver interface, so it feeds us all the information about what the car's doing. So we can watch uh, what revs we're doing, uh, basically our power and fuel usage, our fuel consumption over the last period of time. Um, this is basically for track. Uh, if we were to you know, score a day at Sandown, and we were running around doing lap times and everything has the ability to uh, basically feed you all of that information. Uh, also just gives us stability control information, g-force information, dynamics and then back to the main one. It's got the bimodal exhaust this particular car uh, which did surprise me so it will actually open up at a certain amount of revs and just change the dynamic of the sound um, that it's giving us through the exhaust I'll demonstrate that at the completion of our video. Uh, moving down here, um, just before we do, as I mentioned, does have factory uh, reverse camera, so really good clarity in our picture as well. Our master controls for our audio, dual zone air conditioning, all of our controls here as well. We can set our temperature to what we require, just by a simple move of the button, hit our auto and we're away. Uh, it does also have a uh, traction control button there as well. Our auto, we can drive this car just as a normal automatic. It is a six-speed auto as well. If we want to drive it in manual mode, we can. Move it across to the left. Enables us to change through the gears manually by the lever. All of our buttons and knobs for our exterior mirrors and our power windows. Handbrake to the right hand side, once it's disengaged, tucks in right out of our way. Cup holders there. Good console or good storage area in our console with our auxiliary inputs and everything. And obviously being a HSV clubby, uh, does have full leather interior. So leather seats throughout, obviously factory sports seats as well. Uh, leather infills in our door trims. Once again, paying attention to the quality of the interior and how well this car has been looked after. Factory car mats also. Uh, six airbags, front side and curtain airbags. Gives us a five star ANCAP safety rating. So you've got performance, you've got economy, you've got safety. Uh, last but not least, let's have a look at the service history. HSV and Walkinshaw serviced, or Holden serviced. So it's always been at you know either a factory dealer for service Walkinshaws have done the majority of the servicing, which is even better um, because uh, if you want someone to be servicing a performance car, these are the people to be doing it. So full service history as well, and you can see it in the appearance of the car inside and out. So in summary, probably one of the nicest 2010 HSV Club Sports, an R8 of course, that you'll see. A um, few things surprised me being a 2010 does have navigation, does have the bimodal exhaust. Only done 90,000 Ks and perfect service history. Really impressive motor car, which you would have seen in the video that you've just watched. So give us a call on 9907055. Cars like these, HSVs, as you can see, the Malu I'm driving here. I've turned our internet sales manager into a real car driver. Now he doesn't drive Jeeps anymore, he drives HSVs. So give us a call, 9907 and we'll be able to help you with any of your motoring needs.